I'm going to do a presentation on management information system. Um, starting from learning outcome number one, we want to talk about computers. What are computers? Or what is a computer? Uh, as we know computers, these are machines or devices that performs uh, processes or do calculations and other operations on instructions provided by a software or a hardware program. Computers are designed to execute applications and provide a variety of solutions and combining uh, integrated hardware and software components. Um, the next one, uh, let's go to the competitive business environment. Um, competitive business environment, we are actually talking about these computers, the advantages that we get from the computers. Let's now go to the types of computers. There are four basic types of computers. Number one, we have supersonic computer. Number two, mainframe computer. Number three, mini computer. And finally, the microcomputer. A supercomputer uh, has a very high level of performance. This computer is very fast is a very big and powerful computer. The mainframe computer, these are also very large computer and are used by very large organizations for critical applications and bio processing. Even countries can use uh, this type of computers, the mainframe, uh, they use for such things like censuses uh, and consumer statistics. Many computers are computers of medium power. They are more than a microcomputer, but less than a mainframe. The next one is a mini computer. These mini computers can support multiple users at a time and is a mode processing system. Microcomputer. These are small personal computers with a microprocessor. They are very small Examples of these computers are our smartphones. Smartphones are types of microcomputers. We are now going to the hardware of the computers. We are talking about the physical components of computers. Uh, the physical uh, components of computers includes the computer case. This is the casing of the computer, the outside vessel of the computer. We have uh, the monitor. It is also called the VDU. This is where you see all what you are doing and the output of what you have done, the monitor. Uh, we also have the keyboard. The keyboard is the, uh, the tool which we use to input our information and data into the computer. 
we instruct the computer to perform the activities we use the what the keyboard we also have the mouse the mouse uh, is a tool which we use to move the cursor on the video so that we can instruct the computer to, uh, to perform certain functions. We also have the hard drive disk. The hard drive disk is the device which uh, stores our data as well as the software of the computer. These are the hardware of the computer. Uh, we also have what we call the central processing um, unit. Uh, this is part of the hard drive disk. Uh, we are now going into the uh, to talk about the input devices of a computer. Uh, I've already talked about the keyboard, uh, the mouse. Uh, let's go to the um, to the other devices, other input devices. We have the scanners. We use um, scanners for inputting. We also have the cameras, the joysticks, and microphones all these are tools which we use to input information into the uh, computer the output devices is our next point of discussion this is uh, um, hardware equipment which converts information into uh, human readable form. As we use the computer, we want it to transform the data which we input into the computer and process it to something else. When it does that, we produce what we call the output. These output um, are shown on the output devices. Output devices uh, include the printer. We print um, the information which we want and uh, produce a document. We have the VDU, Visual Display Unit, uh, this is the monitor. We can actually watch and see the information on the monitor. We have uh, the graphic output devices, the plotters, as well as the speakers, which we use uh, to hear what we have recorded. We are now going to storage devices. Storage devices we have hard drive disk, floppy disk. Um, floppy disks are now outdated, but some uh, individuals use floppy disks. We have tabs. We am sure we all know uh, these tabs. We also have compact disks, the, the ones which we call CDs. Um, we also have DVD and Blu-ray disks. And the majority of you, you all know the USB flash drives and the secure digital cards. These are all storage devices which we use uh, in computers. We now want to talk about 
uh, wrong and ram. What is ram? What is wrong? RAM stands for Random Access Memory. This is a type of computer memory that can be accessed randomly. These uh, RAMs are found in servers, in tablets, etc. ROM. This stands for Read Only Memory and is used to store the basic firmware for the main processor, as well as various firmware needed to internally control self-contained devices. Uh, when we uh, store data in ROM, we can only read it, and we cannot do anything else. We, can, we can't alter it, can't change it. Thank you.